Hey everyone, so summer is upon us and I thought I'd make a video showing you some cool summer items that you can use in Bloxburg. So let's get right into the video. And I'm gonna start with a little building tip that you can do. So you need the basement plus and the advanced placing game pass for this, but it's really fun to do. So first of all, you create a little shape with a basement. And let's say I want a pool here somewhere. So I create my walls. And in my pool, I want an area that's a little less deep than the other area in my pool. Instead of using the deeper pool and the less deeper pool, I'm going to try and do something with basic shapes. So you take the cube out. And of course, you have to pick how deep you want your first part of your pool to be. So for example, something like this. I'm going to take the same shape, put my placement grid on large and do the same thing, but make it a little bit more narrow so that I can fit it in right next to it. And of course, for this part of the pool, you can use stairs or you can use basic shapes, whatever you want to use. I'm going to go for the plain stairs this time because I kind of like how you have to step into the pool. And then where we go to the deep end, I'm going to go back into basic shapes, just taking the horizontal wedge and I do want to make it go down just like that so I'm gonna try and align it there we go taking that same basic shape again and of course this is the deep end so we do want to make that one a little bit deeper than what it was so there we go that's the deep end of the pool copying that and doing the same thing of course of course, you can make more layers if you want to. Well, that's not even done nicely. All right, there we go. That's more like it. Now, of course, if you want to add some plants on it, you can go ahead and do that. So if you want some plants in the deeper end of your pool, you can just go ahead and add some plants to this. And maybe a boulder that we are going to scale down because that one is quite large. And then all we have left to do is paint the floor, of course. So for the bottom part, I'm going to use some sand. And this is really cool for summer. This really makes for a natural pool. And maybe this should be sand as well. I might rethink that decision soon. And then, of course, maybe some pebbles right here where we enter the pool. I'm actually going to use, yeah, I'm going to use pebbles here as well. And then the stairs, you can make them whatever you want to. So for example, this. And of course, if you want to add even more to your pool, you can go ahead and do that if you want to. So for example, cattails, can you actually resize the cattails? No, you cannot, so they will probably be underwater for me. So I don't know, we'll see about that. We'll leave them for now. You can also add lights in your pool if you wish to do that. So going into lighting and taking, for example, that up light you can find for your garden. And for example, I'm going to paint that in a marine blue. There we go. And you can place plants over it if you don't like the look of it. And there we go. That's a simple version of our pool. Of course, you can make as many levels and layers as you want. You don't have to make it natural as well. You can add tiles, for example, if you wish to do that. So if you go into tiles and you grab these, for example, you can add those as well. And I think it adds just a lot more customization to it. So going into the fences, right here, you have a plain marking. So you just use the marking to create where your pool is gonna go. And if you then remove the basement, as you can see, I can now see the size of my pool. So if I now create my shape, taking the deepest pool first. Oh, that was too long. Let's see where I have my pool. Okay, so that's perfect already. Going back up, I wonder why it's so hard to look inside the pool right now. And I'm going to take the classic pool right here because I don't want to spend too much money on deep pools that I'm not even going to use. And going out of build mode, of course, it is a dark outside, but the water is so reflective right now. And then you can go into your pool. So this is like where it's not deep at all. If I made it just a little less deep, I could actually stand and walk here. So if you like to role play and you have babies, you can actually make it really, really shallow so that babies can actually walk in the first part. And then of course you can go deeper. And as you can see right here, we have our natural pond or whatever you want to call it. But I think it's really nice to make custom pools like that. It's a lot of fun. Bubble blowers, you have the kites, the water balloons, very important for summer. And of course, if you want to make lemonade, there's a glass beverage dispenser. You can make a lemonade stand. Go ahead and fill that up with lemonade. Then next for summer, which is actually quite a lot of fun, we have actually different kinds of barbecues. So we have this one. And we also have the normal one that you see a lot. Then we also have a cooler, which can be nice, but you cannot put that one in your car. So be careful with that if you have that, but coolers are always nice to place outside. And then of course you can go ahead and picnic if you want to. What I usually do when I have a picnic basket is go into carpets and take that checkered carpet out right here. If you want to make it into a full garden party, you can go into beds, take out a tent. For example, this one now, this one is really, really large. I think this one is super cute. And you can actually have a sleepover in your backyard, create a little area that's closed off so going into fences if you have kids in your roleplay or you just want to build whatever 
going into fence gates. And as you can see, you can make a little hidden area for your teenager kid or for yourself, whatever you prefer to have a little area in your backyard where they can camp and have like nights with their friends uh, around the campfire. And talking about campfire, if you go into build mode, you can actually place some really nice outdoor campfires. So this one is pretty cool, but is more industrial or more in a normal build type of style. And this is a real campfire. This is like the legit one. So if you place that one, you go up to it. It's going to be dark. Yes, it is. You can actually go ahead and roast marshmallows on it. And I think that's so much fun to actually have that just sitting around here. And of course you can eat the marshmallows and it will give you some hunger. Now, if you have block bucks to burn, I definitely recommend the fun slide for summer, but we also have the slip and slide now from the latest update, which is not block bucks. So you can actually have that as well. But if you have block bucks to spend, I definitely recommend the beverage fridge. I think it goes very well with a barbecue. So what I like to do is go outside. So if for example, this is my outside wall, what I like to do outside is create some counter space so that you at least have some room to prepare stuff. So there we go, that looks like it can survive outside. And then what I do is go into appliances and well, I actually think I have some in my inventory. There we go. And I put the beverage fridge right into the counter over here. And as you can see, it fits in. So that's kind of nice to have outside as well so that you don't have to go outside if you want to make hot dogs on the barbecue. Going back into appliances, I just add a barbecue. Oh, I forgot to mention one and that is the Pro Chef barbecue grill. So I add that one right next to it so that I have an entire outdoor area and then usually I go into tables and I add the picnic table over here. I think it's so cute to have that in your backyard. Also, don't forget about gardening this summer. I think it's very important that we use that because it's very fun to do. We have a lot of planter boxes. If you go up to the planter boxes, I'm going to add a light because it's going to be dark again. It's always dark in Bloxburg. And of course you can go up to it and plant anything. But what I like to do during summer is plant stuff like carrots or something else that you can eat. Well, there's not a lot of edibles right here right now for this planter box, so let's go with carrots this time and I like to plant some edibles so that you can actually have some stuff from your garden that you can eat. I think that's a lot of fun to do as well and very rewarding. Also don't forget for summer if you have some block bucks left over you can actually go into the closet and create different types of outfits. I don't really have a good run right now but you can create for example pajamas, you can create swimwear, uh, just different sections that you can have and then of course going out of your closet you can click yourself and change into that outfit. So for example if someone invites you to a pool party and you aren't ready, you can quickly change into your pool outfit and you're ready to go. <laughs> Also, if you grow flowers, you can actually put them in vases. So for example, going into gardening and a small dirt pile, if you have flowers that you have personally grown, oh God, it's still dark. So for example, in this small dirt pile, I want to plant daisies. Now I'm going to add fertilizer because I don't want to wait 25 minutes. So there we go. We now have the daisies. You can actually take the daisies out. There we go. And if you click the vase, it'll go right into that vase. It's pretty rewarding to have your own flowers in your house. And I think it's a lot of fun to do. Now what I kind of miss for outside stuff is a drying rack. You know, those typical drying racks that stand on one pole with the, uh, I'm going to include a picture. It's hard to explain, but I do wish we had that outside. So if you do the washing, you can actually dry your clothes outside. I think that would be so much fun to do. And of course, let's not forget about the, the bathtub that you can actually place outside anywhere. So if you place that one, it kind of looks a little bit weird, but you can of course make it look like a fairy bathtub or something like that. So adding something around it definitely makes it look more like it's meant for outside. So I'm just gonna quickly do something. So I just played around a little bit and I tried to make this bathtub look like it belongs outside. I think I did a pretty good job. You can also add floors around the trees if you want to, but I think I really like this and you can just add some nice areas outside, some hidden areas where you can play in and just work on your garden like that. I really love those gardens with secret areas and stuff like that. It's just amazing. So just added some lights, some trees. Also, don't forget that you can now resize trees. A lot of people seem to forget about that. You can actually make them really tall or really small depending on your placement grid it goes smooth or not so smooth as you can see of course we have all the pool items so for example the inner tube which I cannot place because I built in my pool already so that's something to keep in mind as well we have the umbrellas and then of course we have the patio heater and the patios that you can use so don't forget about those as well these are all in gardening so this traditional gazebo can be a lot of fun if you put a campfire or just some chairs and some books inside it. It will look so cute. And then of course we have all of the kids 
toys. So trampolines, for example, I like the trampoline, but what I like to do with the trampoline actually, so what's the size of that, three by three, is create a little basement, then taking my basic shape, putting it right in the middle with my placement grill large, of course. So I need to get to basic shapes. I, I don't know why I was looking into decorate, not basements. I take the cube and then same thing, you just drag it outwards. Like that, I made it a little bit too high. I put it down just a bit or just enough for the trampoline to fit on. So let's see if that's enough. I mean, I think that will do. And then of course you add your walls to your basement and you paint everything in camo and grass material. And then you put your trampoline in there with the large placement grid. As you can see, you still have some gaps, now you can easily fill them up. So going into flooring and just create those little corner pieces. And same thing, painting that in camo. And there you go, you now have an in-ground trampoline. I think that looks a lot better than just a trampoline standing there. I kind of like how it looks. So it's finally daylight, so I can go up to it. As you can see, that just looks a lot better and you can still use it like that. And then of course the swings and other play tools for kids are in garden as well. Just scroll down and you can find it right over here. If you want to have a slide without a pool, what you can do is create a little pool section. And I'm sorry if you can hear me poorly now, but it's raining really loud. You create a little pool section right there. You go to your pool. So I already bought one. I'm just going to reuse this one right here. You place your pool. And then of course, on top of that, you just place flooring and you paint it in the same color as the grass. So just like that. If you want to add, I don't know, something underneath it, what I like to do is go into garden. I look for this large stepping stone. Yes, that's the one that I need it. I just place it in front of like the slide or something like that. Maybe I can, oh, you cannot expand that one. And you just give it like a darker grass color or just something else. I don't know what you want to do with it. So I like to make it look like, I don't know, it's been used a lot. So I usually put that under my swings as well if it's not too high up. Of course, we're gonna wanna rotate one of them. And as you can see, it just looks like it has been used quite a lot and I kind of just like the worn out effect. Now, these are some things that you can do for summer. I wanted to make this video because a lot of people seem to forget what we already have in Bloxburg and we actually do have quite a lot already. So this is just a refresh of what you can do for summer, especially surrounding a garden stuff. So I hope this video helped you out. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe.